Thanks for tuning in to Live and Loud. My name's Penny Ray Hawkins, and I'm sitting here with Trevor Fields today. How's it going, man? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Um, and can I just say, your performance today was absolutely beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Were you or are you a BGSU student? I am still a BGSU student. Yeah, I graduate in May, question mark. Yeah. What's your major? I am a music performance major um, in voice, so opera, classical, all that stuff over in the CMA. Ah, so that's kind of like why you have this, like such a smooth tone. That's really cool. Yeah. So how long have you been singing? I have been singing for as long as I can remember. And I've been singing, taking singing seriously since maybe 2012 when I like joined high school choir and I've been in choirs and singing ever since. So what inspired you to get started and like to start taking this seriously? Really, um, in 2012 or around that time, there was like an influx of like young talent that was really pushed to the forefront. And I was really inspired by that because I was the same age and I was just wondering, it was uh, it was like a little nugget in the back of my mind that I could maybe sing a little bit. And so when I saw all of that talent, you know, rise right in front of my eyes, I was kind of inspired and said, you know what, I can do the same thing. And so I've been pursuing that ever since. What is your favorite thing about writing and performing music? Well, my favorite thing about writing music is that I get to create my own music. And I've, I, I always want to, I have always wanted to, and now I have the opportunity with this EP to make music that makes other people feel the way other musicians' music makes me feel. 
So the favorite thing about writing music is now that I, I, I have the opportunity to be the source and other people can receive my music and feel the way that, you know, other music makes me feel. And my favorite thing about performing is actually delivering that message and we all can just have a good time. It just feels it just feels like heaven when I'm on the stage. So my favorite thing about performing is just everything, <laughs> just everything. Fly me out to the moon Going into the future I think I'll be back here soon Going up in a cruiser Now is the perfect time to fly to the sky nah, yeah. Now is the perfect time to fly Tonight oh, yeah. I'm flying out to the moon To the future Flying out to the moon Flying out to the moon Fly me out to the stars Fly me out to the stars Fly me out to the stars Fly me out to the moon So can I assume then that you write your own songs? Yes, yes. When did you get started with writing? I wrote that EP. I started writing that EP about a year ago. The first song, Moon, I wrote that because of COVID. And the lyrics, fly me out to the moon, take me into the future. I just wanted to go to a place where stuff like this wasn't happening. So I started writing the EP in um, March of last year. So I've pretty much been writing since then. So the EP is called Apollo? Yes. Can you talk about that a little <laughs> bit more? So Apollo, I was inspired to name the EP Apollo because Apollo in Greek mythology, uh, I used to read the whole Greek mythology book when I was a kid. Apollo in that story, he is the god of music and medicine and healing. So I chose to title my album Apollo because I wanted to take on the same role as the god of music as his job is to go around the world and spread music and 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 healing and, and medicine to the world that's his job his purpose that that's another reason why I take my music and my craft very seriously because it's not just for fun it's, it's like it's a very important job what other songs are on the EP Oh, I have uh, my first song, Moon, is on the EP. Um, there's a song called Later, which is out now. Um, 
in the song Consistent, which I just performed. There are eight songs and an interlude. Wow, that yeah. is quite ambitious for your first project. I love that yeah. for you. So what is then your ultimate goal as a musician? You've got this EP coming out on March 12th. So what comes after that? Well, after this EP, I hope to perform it in as many places, as many times, as many different ways as possible. Um, around BG, around Toledo, we can take it to Detroit, we can go anywhere and just perform it and just share it with the world. And that's essentially what I want to do with all my music. I just want to share it as much as possible. I want as many people to hear it and have a good time as I can, touch as many hearts, change as many lives as, as we can. And that's, that's really what I'm, only thing I'm here to do. Well, I really hope you're able to do that, especially once COVID is a Absolutely. little more contained and we're able to start actually going out more again. I would love to see you achieve all of that. Thank you. And those are all the questions I actually have for you today. Thank you so much for sitting down with us today. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. And of course, I hope everyone and I'm sure everyone watching is going to enjoy your performance today. Thank you. Asking to be what you want from me, but I can never tell you why. I don't want to get safer later. I don't want to get safer later. Oh, oh, oh. 